All right, we're going to go in and create a practice set. So if you go to Google Classroom here on the left hand side, you'll see practice sets new. You're going to go ahead and click on that. I have some here. OK, you probably don't have any yet. You're going to go ahead and hit create. Super intuitive, pretty dang easy. You can create a title. Doesn't matter what it is. If I want to do microscopes, I can type that in. It's pretty similar to a Google form. You can have um, students answer in short answer, paragraph, single select, which is multiple choice, or multi-select if you want them to select more than one correct answer. So if I want to say which part of the microscope controls the light, I go ahead and I want to make sure I have this selected before <laughs> I uh, change the question here. If you change this question, for example, I have gone from single select to multi select, it will erase all of your answers. Um, not fun. You'll find that out pretty quickly. So you can go ahead and put in course focus, fine focus, stage, whatever your answers are. You know how to do that. Um, and then it's going to make sure it won't let you continue really until you select an answer. Currently, the course focus is selected as the answer. So whichever one's filled in is the answer. You can also add a resource. Um, you can either add a hint or you can add a YouTube video if you want to get super fancy and explain what the correct answer is and upload it to a YouTube video. That seems complicated to me, um, but I can enter a hint. Remember that the diaphragm is under the stage. It is a plastic circular object that has round holes in it to let light in. So this is just if you wanted some kind of explanation. If you are doing the short answer part, you have to um, include your correct answers here. So um, if I'm doing a math problem or if I just wanted them to uh, do diaphragm, diaphragm is the correct answer. In the settings, you can allow equivalent answers. So um, you can read through that, but basically if they're backwards, forwards, they will be marked correct and ignore capitalization. Okay, so one of the cool things we can do is from quizzes, we can go ahead and import stuff. So in order to do another question, you'll just hit next question. Um, you can insert just text in here if you wanted like a header or something. Um, but we're going to go ahead and use this import feature. You'll notice when you hit import, it says select a file. So we need to go to quizzes and we need to create a file. This is an old quizzes I have. It is auto archived because of the changes in quizzes. You can still get your archive stuff. You just can't assign them um, unless you unarchive them. So we're going to go here and we're going to print it. Um, this is useful if you have pictures in your questions. Um, or if you have really wordy questions, because then you can copy and paste um, the text or the pictures. If you just have simple questions like these, I'm probably I'm a pretty fast typer. I'm probably just going to retype them. I'm not going to copy and pasting isn't going to save me any time. But if you have pictures and images, this is going to be helpful. I'm going to make the images larger so that when I um, screenshot them, the resolution isn't super um, crappy. But you're just going to hit download. We don't care about any of these options here. They don't really matter. I'm mostly just doing this to get a picture. So it's going to pop up. My computer's being kind of slow, but you can see this is how it's going to print. Um, and we're going to save it as a PDF. Um, and so that will make sure that it's in color too. So hit save as a PDF. Save it to wherever the heck you know where it's going to be. I got an error because I already saved it. And when we go back to our practice sets now, we can find, we can either go into our drive if it's saved it into our drive or our computer. I'm just doing upload where I'm going to click and find the file that I just saved, which is this one, of course. So it's going to take a second. It's going to upload this. Computers being slow. And then this is the cool thing. It has, um, it says select each problem you want to import. It's taking one second to load here. So we see the exact same thing. 
okay? Now, theoretically, if you wanted to, you could just import that as a question. It would be a picture. It's not gonna have text. You're not gonna be able to change it. Um, I don't really think you'd wanna do the whole question because then you're gonna have to retype the answers anyway. But the cool thing is you're not importing it one by one. You see, I have one selected over here. We can go down and import a whole bunch of stuff. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna scroll down here um, and I'm gonna find the pictures because I don't wanna have to upload all of these pictures again. So I'm gonna pick this picture, I'm gonna pick this picture, I'm gonna pick this microscope that I already highlighted. You can do all of them and then you're just gonna hit import. Once you hit import, it's gonna take all those pictures, it will put each one of them into a separate question. The default here is short answer, so again, you're gonna to have to change that. You'll notice the quality is not super good. Um, it is kind of cut off on the right. I did preview this as a student um, and it will show up. It won't get cut off, but again, it's up to you. I know it's annoying to create these things. So then you just have to um, create your answers. I usually type the question, what is the overall magnification if blah, 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 blah. I can finish the question and then I can type the answers. The only downfall, couple downfalls about this, um, you cannot have pictures as your answers. I know I could do that in quizzes. You cannot randomize questions yet. Hoping Google will add that feature. You cannot randomize answers yet. So make sure you randomize them. And then the last thing, um, when you're done editing, all you'll do is go into a class that you want to use this practice set for. You have to create an assignment. You cannot create it as a material. So I am using these as optional practice. So I'm writing optional in all capital letters, microscope, not soft, practice. You just hit attach the practice set. You're gonna go find it. They will show up here. My computer's being slow. You will just click on whichever one you want. It will load it and then hit attach. Just as you saw um, in Google Forms, if you use those, if you have a wrong answer, you can change the answer on the practice set um, and it will update automatically. Um, it is not like quizzes where it is static. Um, I know in quizzes, if you had a wrong answer, you had to go create and generate a new code. These do not expire. You have to include a due date. Um, other than that, though, that's pretty much how you do it.